here in the observatory. Still not finished, but I just have to get out here every time there's a clear sky. And tonight I'm shooting a Pac-Man. I've got the scope and it's 90 focal length of 840 mil. I'm still using the 2600 MC Pro. Um, haven't had a chance to set up the filter wheel yet for my 2600 mono camera. Uh, that will be done shortly and there will be hopefully a video of me putting the filters into the filter wheel. So that should be funny if nothing else. So hopefully I'll get a few hours on the Pac-Man tonight and hopefully get a decent image. So the rig on the pier is the Skywatcher Hiku 6R Pro. Got the ADM upgraded to saddle. Riding on top of that is the Spree 120, 840 mil. On the top of that is the Evo Guide 50ED guy scope. And the camera is the 120 mini. Got the ZWO EAF. There's a ZWO filter drawer. And right at the bottom there is the 2600 MC Pro camera. This is all being controlled by the ASIA Plus. And power distribution is from the Pegasus Powerbox Advance. And a couple of two heater straps. And the power supply is one lead coming up from the battery, the Jaggery Explorer 500. Eventually the part of the rig will be coming up through this hole in the centre there. And there are the pipes there where the power supply will come into the building. And there'll also be an internet cable coming up into the um, building as well. And there'll be no more trailing wires down to the ground. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed because I've just got focused and slid around on my target. And of course the clouds have rolled in. Two weather apps do say intermittent cloud. One weather app says clear, but it's not clear at the moment. So debating what to do, whether to pull the roof back over and try again later, or give in, take the scope in and try another night. Still trying to center the target on Vega to get focused. Might be a little bit of cloud up there still. Ah, oh, here we go, target is centered. So it will now take an image and I will actually test this with my Batonoff mask. Put it on the scope. Now we'll take a three second shot. Let's see what that looked like. Well actually there's not much wrong with that. I'm quite happy with that. I think I'm just going to slew straight at my target. So let's find the target. It is and you see 281. Oh, I know what I like to do first. 
Let's just come out of that. I'll take the baton off my spot. So I like to take another shot of it without the button off mask obviously and then I'll plate solve the image coming up any second right if I hit plate solve solved it in 0.7 of a second align to man and that should just help find my target straight away and here we go slew the target and here we go it's now looking for NGC 281. And we'll see how quick I can find it. Let's hope it's not through the tree again, which it may well be. Just popped in here and have a look. Ooh, it's close. We'll have to see what it comes up with. Okay, so guiding has started, but it really needs to settle down. Look at those numbers, 15.3. It's got to come down. It is coming down, but it'll take a couple of minutes. I really want to wait before it's below one, before I hit start. So I'll give it a few minutes, let it settle, and then I shall get this shooting sequence underway. Okay, so this is a couple of minutes later. 0.43, plenty good enough, so I'm now going to hit start. Okay, so this is just to confirm that the ASI Air Plus will send the scope back to the home position and then shut down on completion, and we're underway. This is the first sub of 50. I've changed it from 60 down to 50, and this will be a 10 minute sub. So I've got my coffee just in time, and the first 10 minute sub of the Pac Man. It's about to pop up and we'll have a look and see how that's come out. That's looking nice. Uh, zoom in a bit. Check the stars in the corners. I'm good. That looks fine. So I'm happy with that. I'm now gonna let that do its thing. Guidance around about 0.5, so it's not too bad at all. I'll let that carry on for a couple of hours and Come back and check on it a bit later. Just check the EAF setter on. And I've got that set to do a focus routine every hour. It might be a little bit much, but I want this to stay nicely in focus. So I've got all night on this, so I'm happy to lose a little bit of time on it. So I'm gonna leave it set to do a focus every hour. That should be fine. So I'm gonna go and sit down now and enjoy my cup of coffee. And I'll catch you all later. So a good image is made up of good polar alignment, good seeing, no clouds obviously, and a good balance on the rig. All these things come together to help make a good image and give you really nice sharp stars. So this is a little experiment for me. This is the first time I've managed to do a screen capture and get myself on the video as well, down in the corner there. I'm using a new program which I'm slowly getting used to, that's OBS Studio. And I thought I'd just put this bit in my video. So last night I did a little bit of imaging and I just want to go through my subs. I use the ASI Studio, the Fitz Viva, which is this tool here. So if I go to where my subs are stored, that's all subs, unstacked. And we're down here, Pac-Man, here we go. So select the subs and go open. It will open all those subs in, into the Fitzville. I can now go through all these one by one and check them for any artifacts or misshaped stars, clouds. I know there was a little bit of cloud about last night. And the beauty of this Fitzvira is when you hit the delete button, it takes it right out of the file and puts it into the bin. So it's gone for good. Yeah, that can go as well. That's not very good. Definitely cloud on that one. I'll quickly flick through these. You can see around here, around the stars, around the bright stars, there's this bit of a glow. That's gonna be light cloud, a little bit of haze causing them, those stars to glow. See on that one, it's not there. But this one, you can clearly see a bit of a glow. 
think I'm going to take it out. Okay, so I've gone through all those subs and they don't look too bad. So I'll come out of that program now and close that down. And now they're all in the fire ready for stacking. And I know that what I stack will be reasonably good subs. I will be using APP, but I'm not going to go through that right now because I'm still learning that program as well. I've got a lot to learn.